what's up everybody this is Lance of BH Capital Enterprises where I provide uh, stock market education uh, specifically some basic fundamental analysis a little bit of advanced fundamental analysis um, and mostly covering uh, technical analysis by way of charts uh, so be sure to check out my website bhcapitalenterprises.com um, leave a comment um, send me an email, Lance at bhcapitalenterprises.com if you have any questions about my offerings. Um, I'm happy to help. If you have any general questions or anything like that, I'm definitely happy to help. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I put out videos um, throughout the week. Um, and usually Friday is kind of an open-ended topic that's usually market-related still. Um, Mondays, I just started my uh, levels of SPX levels of the week series, um, and that's kind of bumped my advanced fundamental analysis uh, series to Wednesday. So I'm going to start re-releasing those um, or releasing those again on Wednesdays. So part eight is coming on Wednesday of my advanced fundamental analysis course, oh, not course, but series. Uh, so look out for that next Wednesday. I also do my um, Wall Street Wednesdays uh, on Facebook Live. Um, so be looking out for that as well. Um, and But these videos with the open-ended sort of, sort of topics come out on Friday mornings typically. So um, this particular video uh, topic was spawned out of a comment left on a post on my Facebook page where I basically stated something to the effect of if you believe that taxing the rich will have no impact on the lower tax brackets you are sadly misinformed. Um, so someone asked me to just kind of expound on that and kind of give me give offer my opinion about uh, why I made the statement that I made because you know it's one thing to to put out such a statement and then another thing to provide some insight into why the statement was made so um, just going to briefly discuss you know how raising taxes on the rich can impact uh, those I don't like to say lower class but I'll say lower tax brackets so one it can either spark a sell-off with big money taking money to other vehicles. So, you know, money can flow from stocks to bonds. Um, or uh, or the, that big money can decide to hold, um, in, which, in which case, you know, government doesn't get that revenue anyway. So what's the point? You know, and then, you know, that, that tax is, is deferred somehow, potentially, um, but that that tax is deferred potentially uh, because you know when you have you know our IRAs and stuff like that you have to take uh, withdrawals at some point you know but there's so many loopholes that you know I'm I'm not even aware of that uh, wealthy people employ to um, legally avoid paying taxes so raising the capital gains tax from 20 to 40 for the the uh, that upper bracket it's 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 kind of pointless you know for that reason and of course if if the if that upper tax bracket decides okay we're just going to sell uh our stuff in and uh we're going to sell our stuff and put our money shelter our money elsewhere then those it, it it impacts anyone with exposure to the market so i don't fit right now i don't fit that upper tax bracket quite yet so even that raising of capital gains if that sparks a sell-off then i lose my basically my retirement takes a hit so your 401ks, your IRAs, et cetera, et cetera, whatever exposure you have to the markets can be impacted because big money is taking their money out of that particular vehicle. Um, so it's like, what's the point? You're either gonna, you're either going to significantly impact everybody except the rich or you're just not going to get any money. 
no revenue because nobody's selling. They're just going to decide to hold, you know, so two options there. Um, companies may uh, elect to contribute less into pension plans because they have to pay higher corporate taxes. So that's another thing is capital gains and corporate taxes. Not the same thing, but this is kind of the, what the topic is about. Um, so the, the first top, the, the first point that I made was surrounding capital gains tax. This one is more so dealing with corporate taxes because the, the incoming regime has mentioned increasing the corporate tax back up uh, from 20 to like 28. So increasing that corporate um, tax uh, doesn't really give companies an incentive to contribute into pension plans because although pension plans um, don't require, are, are basically tax exempt, the company still has to pay corporate taxes based on that. So, um, and even still, those distributions from those pension plans um, is, uh, you have to pay taxes on them, basically what I'm trying to say. So, um, it pretty much, pretty much raising taxes on corporations goes, it trickles down to the consumer. You know what I'm saying? Um, back to that though, the 401k match can be in a, a, a pretty attractive recruiting, um, tactic. Um, so raising the corporate taxes can, can potentially slow job growth because companies are like, you know, we, it's not economically feasible for us to offer these great 401k plans um, because we're having to pay more taxes now. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, you know, I believe that, you know, raising the capital gains tax will eventually trickle down to higher capital gains taxes for those lower tax brackets. Um, higher corporate taxes also does not encourage investment into the into the the domestic or local economy you know i i can't name one time in history where raising taxes has encouraged spending it it's 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 contra it's like a contraindication you know what i'm saying so it, it, it like make it make sense to me you know it, it 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 makes absolutely no sense to raise taxes in hopes that companies will be inspired to create more jobs, um, invest in, you know, the local infrastructure and stuff like that. You know, they're going to be looking for more ways to um, offset those higher taxes, whether it be, you know, job cuts or, or what have you. Um, so raising, raising the corporate taxes, taxes, again, can cause a mass exodus of these corporations, they can say just, you know, fuck it, I'm going overseas somewhere. Um, or, you know, that's that's a pretty dramatic um, viewpoint. Or, you know, I did read that, you know, Biden's, Biden's tax plan is, you know, okay, if you want to outsource, then you have to pay another fee. You know, so I could say, you know, as, it, you know, if I'm a corporation, I could say, or I, I own a corporation, I can say, well, hell, I can create a machine to do all of these jobs and I cut cut costs significantly, you know, over the over the, a 10 year period. I might have to make an investment, a, a significant investment up front, but it's going to pay off in savings down the road because I'm not having to pay benefits. I'm not having to pay uh, wages or anything like that because all the bot needs is to be serviced here and there. You know what I'm saying? So I think that could really accelerate the process of AI uh, machines taking over and doing jobs. We're already seeing it now in our everyday lives where people are being replaced by machines. Um, and it makes good business sense because machines don't require a salary. Mach machines don't have children. You know what I'm saying? Machines don't. Well, well, they do have uh, needs in terms of servicing, but um, a machine is probably a lot more cheaper, a lot cheaper than a human being. So um, 
also increasing taxes on corporations increases the price of goods and services so we all know that that um, the price of goods and services is already you know increasing and outpacing the the uh, growth of wages so raising taxes coupled with stagnant wage growth um, and already inflated prices of goods and services people can afford a lot less than what they could before so this is how these are just a few ways the people down on the lower totem pole in terms of wealth and earnings can be impacted by raising capital gains taxes and or corporate taxes hopefully that won't happen hopefully none of those things happen but uh, I've seen and talked to many 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 people many retirees as a matter of fact that were expecting to pay less taxes in retirement um, and a lot of them were told that by the time they retire they'll be paying less taxes um, and so by the time they get to retirement and they're having to take um, distributions from their 401ks or whatever retirement vehicle and they're getting hit with these huge tax bills and, and they're just finding that, hey, I actually don't have enough to, to live, you know, the so-called golden year. So just some things to think about, man. And, and I really, really, really challenge you guys to, you know, during the next four year election to really, really sit down and especially black people sit down and read these the candidate platforms and think about whose plan best benefits me and my family. And I mean benefits me financially, economically whatever forget about you know public morale and things like that 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 doesn't matter if you don't have any money in your pocket you know what i'm saying so vote for the candidate that best reflects how you feel um your pockets will benefit you know what i'm saying um don't vote against your own pockets never 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 do that um, I noticed that, you know, when they when they put out the demographics on um, voting, you know, black people overwhelmingly voted Democrat. Um, and it, it, it's really a thing where it doesn't matter who the candidate is. It's being loyal to the party. Um, but I challenge you guys, I challenge my community to sit down and do some research when it comes to these candidates. Um, platforms, uh, you know, um, don't don't just give away your vote without knowing who you're voting for and what you're voting for. Um, there are a lot of people out there that are uninformed. Um, they don't think about, you know, basically they're caught up in the hoopla of, oh, we got to get uh, Cheeto or 45, we got to get him out of there. But you could be, you know, voting for another devil, you know what I'm saying, another snake. You, you you have no idea because you're just so caught up in the mainstream emotionalism and sensationalism of politics that you don't even think to sit down and study uh, which candidate best represents your interests. Vote in your own self-interest, people. Um, it's self, then family, then community. I believe in that wholeheartedly. So hopefully this video shed a little light um, for you guys on why I made the statement that I made. Um, and hopefully it's clear to you guys on how raising corporate taxes on Walmart can impact me as a consumer um, or you as a consumer when you just go on to you know, buy some things um, or when you're just going to work and you're not in that bracket of 400,000 or a million or whatever it is, you're not in that upper 1% earnings uh, in the United States, and you're just wondering, you know, what's it got to do with me? You know, I'm, I'm not rich, so I don't care. I'm, a, I'm gonna vote for that because I think rich people should pay more taxes. 
not really sitting down to think about the fact that the rich pay millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars in taxes every year. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of them pay more taxes than we earn in in years at our jobs. So think about that, you know, next time you, you know, throw around or regurgitate the, the, the whole the rich should pay their fair share rhetoric. Um, uh, it's, it's a lot of entities out there that like to prey on your emotions. So I'm learning to protect my emotions. Um, my emotions are for me and for me only and for those whom I choose to share them with. And I'm not going to be sharing my emotions with people that don't have my best interests at heart. You know what I'm saying? Not people who want to use my emotions against me. Um, and in politics, that's what everybody wants to do. They want to use your emotions against you in order to get what they want, um, whatever that result may be. So protect your protect your energy, protect, protect your emotions um, at all costs. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's all I got. You know, I can just start rambling and stuff, but, you know, that's all I wanted to say. Um, and if you guys have anything else to add, I'm happy to, uh, continue to learn. I'm, I'm certainly not any sort of authority on this stuff, but just on some limited research that I've, that I've done, uh, over time, um, and just really thinking, you know, how can this impact me? Uh, just some basic, some of it is just basic economics, you know. Uh, shit rolls downhill. Thanks for watching.